one I took and said back in. Well, they always send me first. Oh, so they would you Yep. Here they come. They send you, then they then the paramedics come? Yeah, they got to make sure the area is safe. Oh, okay. Firefighters are afraid of this stuff. I know. I'm just Hey guys, the video that I have for you today is an overdose video. I want to preface this by saying that I don't post these videos in an effort to demean or belittle anybody, and I really don't want to see that kind of stuff happening in the comments. I post these kind of videos to show people what really happens in these parts of town that many people don't get to see, and the kinds of encounters that police and medics and the public have in these neighborhoods that the majority of people are completely unaware of. Uh, in this situation, a male who does not live on the west side of Columbus, uh, doesn't belong on the west side of Columbus, found his way down there and ended up overdosing on an opiate. Uh, police and medics arrived, they treat the male, and he refused to go to the hospital for treatment. So when the medics left, the officer Ended up driving around with the mail, trying to find some place for him to go. Uh, called some friends and family, and eventually got a hold of somebody that could come pick the guy up. I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you learn something, and I will talk to you next time. How you doing, sir? All right. We're right here. Okay. Okay. One, I took and said back in. Well, they always send me first. Oh, so yep. Here they come. They send you, then they then the paramedics come. Yeah, they gotta make sure the area is safe. Oh, okay. Firefighters are afraid of this stuff. I know. I'm, I'm just kidding. Wow. I don't know. Yeah. But it is a good. It is best practice to have us here. You know what I mean? Just land on the hey, buddy. Over here. Hey, what's your name? John. Johnny. Johnny. What'd you take, buddy? What kind of drugs do you use? Well, uh, I know. Could have, could have been been alcohol. Tell me. What was What's up? It's the keys to his bike. Oh, cool. Thank you. Is it a motorcycle or is it locked it's up? It's a Yamaha motorcycle. He's got a motorcycle hot helmet sitting over there. So I don't know where his bike is or nothing, but okay. I just, I just took him off of him. So no, you know what I mean? While he was on the wall, a lot of people was walking by him, surrounding him and shit. So I just went over there and grabbed him real quick so nobody took his shit. Okay, I'll make sure it goes with him. Yeah. All right, thank you. Yes, sir. But you didn't see the bike anywhere? No, they said he came from down that way. That way. Okay. Uh, I, I'm, kind of, I'm kind of thinking maybe he wrecked or something. I'll but see if I can find it. It looks like there's any scratches. Yeah, he ain't got no scars on, on the helmet. Yeah, he ain't got no scars Okay. Y'all have a good night, man. Hey, thank you. Hey, Johnny, wake up, bub. All right, there's some eggs. They're going to come talk to you. What kind of drugs do you use, buddy? Johnny. All right. They'll get him perked up and I'll get some info on him. A little bit of alcohol mixture too. No, his, his eyes are dial or yeah, pinpoint. So he's, here's heroin or fentanyl. Yeah. Wake up, Johnny. Give me a breath. Give me a breath. Man. There you go. All right. Thank you. Can you guys give them some space? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna let them grab him as soon as they can get him out. Uh, in your pockets. They found him laying in the grass over there. He's nodding out. Yeah, somebody still. might have to hold him out. Yeah. Yeah. All right, take this out. Yeah. Hey, man. You gotta wake up, bud. What's your name? I'm all right. No, you're not all right. You're all doing. What's your name, bud? It's Johnny. I don't know his last name. Might as well go bring Narcan and Bryce. Narcan? No, I don't. 91510. Thank you. You just set that stuff down, I thank you. One nine three one nine four. I did let Kathy know that he's over there at H Y Westport. She knows you. She can't get spice started there. Uh, Johnny, wake up, bud. Thank you. We're gonna give you something to help wake you up, all right? Here, I'll do this one.
We're going that way, huh? Is that? We're doing it that way? Yeah, we've been pretty good luck with it. better success with it, I think. Really? Yeah, it seems to kick in a little better. Stay sitting up, John. Let's go. So you don't have to do the vein or anything, you just do it right in the muscle? Yeah, yeah just like a shot. Yeah, yeah just like a shot. <laughs> what was the story? Was he just here passed out? Is that what it was? Yeah, they found him in the grass. Oh, yeah. like, hey, boy, what's your last name, Johnny? What's your last name? Hey Johnny, your question, bud. Hey, thank you. It's a little ticklish. I got his armpit. Johnny, sit up. Thank you. What's your last name, Johnny? Focus. Look at me. Look at me, buddy. Hey, what's your last name? Okay. How you feeling? Not uh, too bad. Yeah? Yeah. Hey, a little Johnny, better than you did a minute ago? What's the tip? I didn't take much of anything. I, uh, what, what are you doing? Hair on the front? No hair on the front. No hair on the front. I, uh... I got a drink at uh, downtown and brought home. That was about it. Yeah. Somewhat sleep deprived. I uh, just went. I had worked all the day at the farm for my parents, and uh, just went for an evening night cruise. I was going to yeah. meet up with a friend of mine, and uh, here we are. I guess. Well, here's the thing, man. We gave some dark pain, so you're waking up a lot more now. Okay. Take a little something. Interesting. We just want to make sure you're okay, dude. Sure thing. Hey, John. Hey, can we walk you over here? We'll get your vitals and stuff, okay? Sure. Make sure you're all right. Stand up for us. I definitely can. I'm just trying to figure out where I am. This is... Sullivan Avenue. Sullivan Avenue, yeah. That's what I thought. No wallet or anything? Do you normally carry a wallet? I do normally carry a wallet. It should be in the motorcycle helmet. No? No, there's two gloves and a helmet. Okay. That's probably not good at all. All right, well, let's, let's, let's come over here real quick to get your vitals. And let's figure out what we're doing. Right, let's do that. You got a pretty good feeling of what. Okay. Yeah. Dumping water on you because they think that helps. Oh yeah. Well, 100% you did. Any, any medical problems or anything, John? No, not that I'm aware of. Any medication for anything else? I do not. Okay. You don't have CPD on the thing, or do you? Is it John or Johnny? Negative. Your first name? Uh, my first name is. M-U-Y-Y? Yes, sir. 
Do you have any idea where you parked your bike? Where I parked my bike? Mm -hmm. I do. I couldn't leave you my sh the street name, I guess. No, not um, no, well, do I need to go get it for you? Do I need to go you secure it or is it in a safe place? It's probably not in the safest place, I'm assuming. Well, your key is here, so. Right. right. What's your address? Where's it at? Two hours ago or something. Listen, you're not going to be in any trouble. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. Yes, yes, yes. I, uh, I did, did, obviously didn't do any IV drugs or uh, hit a pipe or anything. Um, I smoked a joint. Uh, I don't know what time it is now, but at some point uh, with a friend of mine, and that was about it. I was sitting on the curbside getting something to drink, and uh, you guys showed up. Okay. Well, obviously you had something to drink, you know? Sure. So, all right, you sure you don't want to go to the hospital with us? I am sure. Absolutely positive? Yeah, I wouldn't think that I needed to. Where are you going to go? Um, I guess I'd like to find my motorcycle and have somebody come pick me up, I guess. That'd be the smart thing to do. Well, there's no way in hell you're riding. Obviously, right. Do you have a friend anywhere near here that you can stay with or something? I do, yes. You want me to take you there? Um, maybe, I'm trying to think about how far on the west side I am, I guess. Uh, okay. Son right here says you're, you're refusing to go to the hospital, okay? Just use your tip your so finger. Do you know what time it is? Yeah. Right. How'd you say you spelled your last name? M. Oh, so no wallet, no phone. That's a bummer. Yep. I'm not surprised, huh? Interesting. All right. All right. Let's get off the medic so they can do their go on the next one. All right, buddy. Hey, well, thank you very much for uh, intervening. stuff out of here. No, this one. Yeah, here's that. Thank you. I'm gonna hold on to your knife and your bike key for a minute. Yeah, no problem. Alright, see you later guys. Alright, come on over here, I'm gonna give you a ride. Watch yourself. Yeah, they gave him some Narcan, and I'm going to take him somewhere to stay. So, thanks, guys. Alright, let's start knocking out. Please, Ryan. Let's go to the 16 at 6 through 12 years. Wait for 3 hours to kind of neighbor in the view. 3 or south of. 192. Medicaid 17, treated on scene. Uh, he refused transport. I'm going to 5-1 him somewhere. I'll let you know when I get there. Do you think your bike's on Clarendon? Wanna wait? Wanna wait? Should be just a block down here. We're gonna go try Like, to do I need to turn down this street? I'm 
my company sent in over to Nationwide and Westport. Does that look familiar? Yeah, that might be it. Alright, I'm going to have to turn here in a second. I mean, you probably were stumbling around for 20 minutes or a half hour before you passed out. Right it's hard to tell what happened to your stuff. Did you park it in the alley or, oh. Right here? Okay. Do you have anything in your under your seat or anything that you need right now? Okay, I'll write down this intersection for you. Where can I take you that you'll be safe? Yeah. Is like your friend when you're going to that friend's house is off Sullivan. Are there any fast food restaurants or anything over there? Or is it down by Mount Carmel? Okay, I'll turn around. So what's the plan here? You looking for my friend's house? So you're saying? Yeah, I'm gonna try to drop you off. Well, when we get down there closer, we'll figure it out. I'm not. I can't just let you out on, on the street, though. Right, I understand. There's always a chance when that Narcan wears off, you might go back into an overdose, too. Did you guys have the Narcan? Yes, they gave you Narcan. They gave you an injection. So you 100% use an opiate tonight. What was that? There's a 100% chance that you're using an opiate tonight. Do you know what your friend's name is? Uh, yes, definitely. I can see if I can find her address on the computer. Do you know your sister's address? I do not know her address, but I do know her phone Okay. about the same age as you? No. Stephanie. Yeah. There's one that lives on Marble Vista, but that's not down here off Sullivan. Is any of this starting to look familiar? You don't know the name and street that she lives on? What's your sister's number? I'm going to try one more and then I'll have radio try to call her.
192, your list. 192. Yeah, I need to make a phone call for me if you could. Uh, the number is going to uh, I'm trying to get a hold of Jenna. I have her brother Simon with me. I'm trying to find her address so I can get him up to her place. What's your sister's last name? Is it the same as yours? Yeah, my. 192, I got a voicemail. I left a message. Okay, thanks. You awake back there? Think she's ever filed a police report before? Okay. Like her car's never been broken into or something? I could call them and I could take you somewhere you can wait for them to come pick you up. Okay. What's that number? What's their, their names? Okay. Hello? Hi, is this Gina? Yes. Hey, this is Officer with Columbus Police. How are you? I'm fine. I've been wondering where my son is. Well, I have him with me and he's fine. That is good to know. Mm-hmm. He, um, he doesn't have his phone or anything anymore, so okay. I'm making some phone calls for him. Um, um, <clears throat> would you guys be able to come into Columbus and pick him up? Yes. Okay. Do you know anything about the west side? Um, a little. Okay. Do you know where Mount Carmel West ER is? Mount Carmel West. ER. Mm -hmm. um, so that would be uh, like 70 into downtown. Mm -hmm. And then there is it like Broad Street? Yeah, it would be like uh, Broad and Green, and you'd go south. Um, and they have like so, a standalone uh, ER. There would be, there's signs directing you in once you get close to the Mount Carmel ER. Mm hmm. Okay. So, is there any inf other information you want to share with me at this time? Um, I'll let him tell you what he wants to tell you. Um, okay. He's just having a bad night, but he's in my car right now, and I'm just trying to find some place to take him that's safe because I don't want to just let him roam around the west side without a phone and a wallet and stuff. If that makes any sense to you. Yes, and what about his vehicle? Um, his, we found his bike, it's parked at the intersection of, uh, Clarendon and Union, south of Sullivan on the west side somewhere. Okay. But he, he still has the keys, but the bike's parked. The bike is parked? Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank you. Sure. All righty. Okay. Um, I, so will you be there, officer, when I arrive? Um, that's not my plan. It's a very busy night, and I kind of have to clear up. Um, so what I was going to do is take him to the hospital and have him wait so that I know that he's safe and you guys can come uh -huh. pick him up, if that will work for you. It certainly will. I'm probably about 45 minutes at the most away. Okay. Well, I'm going to take him over okay. there and drop him off. All right. Um, and do I need to speak with him that he will assure me that he will be there, or has he assured you that he will be there? Yeah, well, and you're on speaker in my car, so he's hearing this, uh -huh. and uh, I think he's he's had a very humbling experience tonight. Okay, that's so. very um, very grateful to you and any part that you played in that. Well, you're welcome, and just okay. uh, thank you for coming and getting him. Absolutely, and I will see him within the hour then. Okay, hon. At Mount Carmel West. ER at down there off of Broad Street around Broad and Green. Yeah, I think it's it's they changed the name to like Mount Carmel Franklinton. If you need to GPS okay. it, that might work. Um, Mount Carmel Franklinton. Yeah, but once you get down here, you know, there's all those signs with the big big H yeah. on them that kind of give you an arrow. So you should be okay. All right. All right. Thank you, officer. Okay. Thank you very much. I'm on my way. Okay. Take care.
Thank you. Mm-hmm. Bye. All right, that works out. 